welcome to week four. As you can see, I finally got a webcam, so now you can see that I'm actually a real person, not just a photo. I apologize for the audio and video quality. It isn't the best webcam, but it'll do for now. I've received quite a few emails from you guys regarding the data files, so I just want to clarify a couple things. First, you only need to download the file from the website one time. I include the link each week, so if you are not near the computer where you downloaded the files before, you have quick access to download them again. Once you download the files, you may still need to unzip the individual folders inside the main folder. If the folder icon has a zipper like these, then you need to extract or unzip the files before you can open them from access. Depending on the version of Windows you're running, the unzipping process is a little different. You can just Google search how to unzip a file for your operating system to learn how to do it. It's really simple, probably two or three clicks. And I will post the link to the data files video in the assignment section so you can watch it again if you need to. Okay, let's take a look at the class. This week you should be working on tutorial two. In this tutorial, you will start building database elements, namely tables and relations. Make sure you review all of the resources presented this week. If you do not have a good understanding of this foundational knowledge, the future tutorials are going to be extremely difficult. The structure of the weekly assignments should look familiar. It's exactly the same as last week and it will remain exactly the same for the rest of the course. Remember, the assignments are laid out in a logically progressive order for you to complete. Start at the beginning, read the introduction, and review the resources for understanding concepts. Next, complete all parts of the textbook tutorial project. Remember, the textbook tutorial project is where you learn the items listed in the tutorial objectives. Once you have completed the tutorial assignment, work on the case problem. You will see that the case problem is very similar to the textbook tutorial, but requires you to demonstrate that you learned all of the objectives from the tutorial. After completing both of the textbook assignments, you should have enough knowledge about the topic to participate in the blog assignment. This week, you'll be discussing the process of building a database from multiple sources and what is required for that process. Make sure you include specific information from the tutorial and resources to strengthen your response. As always, if you need any help, post in the discussion board or send me an email to schedule an appointment. I'll be grading your Tutorial 1 assignments this weekend, so keep an eye out for your scores in the gradebook. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you next week.